updated eyewitness news, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Angie Humphrey is prepared for the rain. Look at this cool umbrella she's got. It kind of, look at that. That way you don't get water on your head, isn't it, right? There you go. And when you, when you pull it down like that, the water stays inside there and doesn't come pouring down on your head. This is, Angie is ready to battle the elements. And she's also ready to play the role of Mary Poppins in the stage production. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool umbrella, Angie. I love it. And it's dry as a bone. It's not going to stay that way, I'll tell you that, when she steps outside. As we take a look at our Thule Law Sky camera, we've got a dreary day, I know, and we've got a wet day on Monday. But in between today and Monday, we've got a fantastic weekend shaping up as we look at our Thule Law Sky camera. Of course, that's downtown Evansville, high top Fifth Third Bank, looking out, well, trying to look out to the west side, but the visibility is really down, courtesy of that nice rain we're getting out there. That cold rain, too. Temperature 41 degrees. Low to mid 40s is what we can expect throughout the day today, with the wind from the north at 12 miles an hour, adding a chill. In fact, we have wind chills that are going to be in the 30s throughout the day. So even though it's just going to be rain, we're not going to see anything frozen, it's going to feel like there should be some frozen precipitation, as cold as it's going to be. 37 degrees Fairfield, 37 in Carmi, 43 in Princeton. Now, the heavier rain has been to the west as expected, but we're all going to get a pretty good dousing before all is said and done. And then 45 degrees Tell City, 44 in Owensboro, 44 degrees in Calhoun. A little bit warmer to the east where they've seen less rain. Wind speed wise, double digits, plenty of those to go around. I'm calling it a 5 to 15 mile per hour range, but for the most part, from here on out, it's going to be a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. So it's going to be adding a chill. In fact, it feels like right now, 29 in Carmine, 34 here in town, 39 in Jasper, 37 in Fairfield. So we've got some 30s on the board, even some mid to lower 30s. And even that 29 in Carmine, so that's some bone-chilling rain that's coming down right now. How much rain has fallen at the airport right now? About two-tenths of an inch, just under a half an inch in Henderson, uh, just about a third of an inch in Owensboro. Nothing in Jasper yet. That's going to be changing, though, as that rain starts to shift more to the east. But pretty good dousing in Madisonville with close to a half an inch of rain. Here's what it looks like right now in our live first warning Doppler. Actually, it looks like they're getting a little bit of rain right now in Jasper. So for the next hourly update, we might have a trace, maybe a little bit more than that. But the heaviest rain, what we're seeing in yellow is moderate rain. We've got it cutting across the Evansville Metro and especially to the west. We had seen a little bit of lightning earlier, so you might hear a few rumbles of thunder out there. But for the most part, it's just going to be light to moderate and at times heavy rain that's going to be falling. Now, it is wrapping back around an area of low pressure to our south. That's why it's kind of moving in an odd direction as it kind of goes back toward the west. Usually our weather makers come in from the west, but I'll show you the reason why. This is the area of low pressure actually centered down south of Memphis. That's the center, and you've got the rain wrapping around counterclockwise that low pressure system. Now, as that low continues to move to the east, you'll get the wrapping around, but it's going to be cutting more into the tri-state as it does that. So that's the reason why it's moving in a different direction. Future tracker showing the heavier rain. Really, for the most part this afternoon, it's going to be north of the Ohio River, and it's coming down at a pretty good clip. A lot of places are going to be seeing better than a half an inch, and I think in some places we're going to have better than an inch of rain when all is said and done. The good news is it's going to start to taper off as we head into evening, but still some heavier pockets around 6, 7 o'clock. By 9.30, most of the rain has now shifted to the east of 41, and then it's out of the picture by midnight, and the clouds aren't long behind. I mean, we're going to be seeing those clouds breaking up overnight, and plenty of sunshine as we start our Saturday. Now, the temperature is going to drop down into the mid-30s, so we're going to stay above freezing even after we clear out, but it is going to be chilly for that morning run or power walk that Angie's going to be on. Uh, with plenty of sunshine, we're going to be seeing temperatures that are going to be at, what, 8.30 is the walk? Walk slash run? About 9 o'clock, about, yeah, about 40, 42 degrees is where we're going to be. But we're well on our way. We'll be warming up with that sunshine into the 50s tomorrow. Rainfall from here on out, another, I'd say about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, if not a little bit more, up to the northeast where the heavier rain's going to shift once we move through the afternoon. A lot of clouds. Rain is likely in a chilly high in the mid-40s. And that wind from the north-northeast at 5 to 15 miles an hour, definitely adding the chill. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-50s, low to mid-50s over the weekend. So we're going to sandwich in two Really good looking days for the first weekend of January before another round of rain and a lot of wind awaits us on Monday and temperatures will be cooling back down into the 40s uh, for highs 
Uh, that will be midweek next week. But uh, at least the weekend's looking fantastic. Well, the rest of Lifestyles is looking fantastic, too. We've got Hillary Melcher, and she is with Angie. They'll be talking, and later on, Cynthia Murray and her band is going to be on performing, so you don't want to miss that.